Cloudflare is a great way to manage DNS. Uh, the paid versions give you the ability to run CDNs um, and have a lot of security features. So we're just gonna go through the setup of the free version at the moment. Um, all we're gonna do is just sign up here. Put in your email address. That. Well, that will send a verification email to activate the account. Uh, but at this point, we're just going to start with Cloudflare Basic. Just put it in our site. So let's say we've got, I don't know, test.com as our domain. What that's going to do now is, um, once we select the free plan, uh, it's going to scan for the existing DNS records for that particular domain. And you'll see here, it's already got the A records, uh, it's got the C names. If you've got MX records, um, it should find them, but sometimes it doesn't. So just make sure that your MX records and SPF records are all there. Um, the proxy status here means that the uh, IP will be proxied through Cloudflare for security. Um, so instead of generic DNS uh, servers where you would just specify the IP address of your record, um, it'll actually go through Cloudflare's IPs, um, which hide your site, helps protect you against things like DDoS attacks um, and a whole bunch of other hacks in general. So We'll just pop next and there we go. We've got the new name servers. Um, so we had just have to update the domain with these uh, name servers. Copy and paste those onto your domain and then just hit done. Um, if you wanna look at these, you've got options like HTTPS rewrites, always use HTTPS, which is great to have. And I don't know what it's doing there. I've got the ability to use minification here. So all that can be applied to those. You can use Brotly. Finish. So this will just detect when the name servers have been updated. Um, it is a great tool just for security in general, but if you just want a free DNS host, then this is this is fantastic. Um, we'll go through some of the other settings later on, but yeah, hopefully you find this useful.